to my husband on our wedding day. Eric, I'm so excited to become your wife today. I'm forever grateful for you and our journey. The past few years have brought so much joy, memories, growth as individuals both separately and together. Through it all, you've been my rock, my space, my home. I'm incredibly lucky to have you and to take you together into life hand in hand. So Eric and I met 10 years ago. We worked at Carabas, which is objectively better than Olive Garden. Um, so for people who haven't worked in restaurants, uh, very few things in this world bond you quicker than having to deal with the general population. Uh, Eric's one of the kindest people and most loyal people I've met, I've met in my life. Anyone that knows him that knows like if you're in his life, like you pretty much have to like fake your own death to like escape. <laughs> you're, you're in it for the long haul. In the time I've known Eric, I've seen the qualities of patience, loyalty, and compassion. Because of knowing Eric since he was a little boy and knowing the quality of people he surrounds himself with, I feel like I know Jackie. Being here this weekend, I've seen the love that these two exhibit for each other. You know, as a parent, you try to do everything right. You do a lot of things wrong. Um, and you, you pray. You pray that they become the best that they are. And Jackie, you truly are the best you could be. At age three, she was mature, already swearing in more. <laughs> One of her favorite phases being, open the damn door. <laughs> He lost Barney in a repeat until she was practically age nine. Jackie got what she wanted a lot, so her parents didn't have to share her wine. It's been, it's been such a pleasure being your friend the last 10 years, and I cannot wait for what shenanigans we're gonna get up to in the next 10. Well, I joined the Navy six years ago, and so the beginning of our training is we don't have phones or internet for five months straight. Um, so our, our only window to the outdoor world is letters that we get in the mail. And Eric was one of the wonderful people who would send me letters. He told me he got his, the very first job in the field he's working in now. He, was, he would tell me how excited he was and how happy he was for both of us that we were making major moves in our lives. Um, I'm, pro I'm really proud of you and I'm so happy you found a wonderful person in Jackie that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Hi, bud. Hi. You're so beautiful. Yeah. And that meeting was truly one of those moments you see in a movie. Locking eyes across the bar. There was an instant connection between them and honestly within 10 minutes they were giggling, talking about cats. And then 30 minutes in, Eric walked over to me, looked me dead in the eyes and said, I'm gonna date your friend Jackie. So he met a boy and they moved to Orlando, which is very far from her mother. <laughs> but after getting to know Eric the last few years, um, you see her for who she is, and you love her, and you can tell in everything that you say and you do. You make her a better person, and for that, um, I couldn't ask for anything. You truly are everything that I've always dreamed of, and everything that I was told to wait for. I can't wait for our future the amazing life that we're building together. I can't wait to see you soon and dance the night away together. Here's to us, the Nelsons, husband and wife. I love you, Jackie. Jackie's a great man, sister, and just in general, a pretty awesome person. She found someone who loves her as much as we do, and we know it isn't easy all the time. <laughs> but we hope you feel how much we love you, Jackie, with this little rhyme. We are so excited for you and Eric and wish you nothing but the best, a life filled with love, laughter, and plenty of happiness. Having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the sight of God, these witnesses, it is my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife by the power of s &D, by the American Marriage Ministries. Eric, you may kiss your bride. In the Navy, one of, one of our toasts is uh, fair winds and following seas. So it's, it's an old gesture often used when a new ship is commissioned and you're, you're wishing it the, like, the best possible life. It's gonna, it can have a long journey with, with no waves or anything. So Eric and Jackie, fair winds and following seas. Thank you both for letting me be part of your day and I love you both. <laughs> I'm honored to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Eric Nielsen.
Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It love always protects, always trusts, and always hopes.